This is Code.org. I'm currently working on their CS Discoveries course. I'm on Unit 3, Animation and Games, Lesson 17, Complex Sprite Movement, Part 5. I see code here, so like always, I want to test it out. Does it do... Oh, that is... What is that, like an ellipse? Well, it's an ellipse, but is it... Huh. Are there any animations? Oh, that's a bubble. Huh. All right, let's see what we're doing here. Rising bubble. This program makes the a bu uh, makes a bubble rise up the water. Rise up the water? Rise up with the water, I guess. Can you make it get faster as it rises? Ah. So that was supposed to be a bubble in water. Do this. Use the counter uh, use the counter pro pattern and the sprite's y velocity to make the bubble move up more quickly. All right, so this is similar to the last few levels. Okay, so we create this variable bubble, we set it to the animation bubble, and then our velocity y is negative. Why is it negative? Why is y negative? So the reason it must be negative, keep in mind, y zero is here. Okay, so if you want a bubble to rise, it's y starts way down here, something like 400 maybe, 350 it technically starts at. And then they're subtracting from it to make it move up. So that's what you would have to do because of the y variable. So now we want to use the cat counter pattern and the sprite's y velocity to make the bubble move up more quickly. All right, so don't let those words scare you. Y velocity, right, and the counter pattern. The counter pattern means we're going to be adding to the y velocity of our sprite. Update the sprites. I'm going to drop that in there. If we want to add, I'm lying to you, we want to subtract. If we want to subtract, I'm going to drop in a negative sign. Now let's grab our sprite y, because y is up and down. Okay, don't leave this as the word sprite. This should be the word bubble, because that's the variable we have created. And if they start us at point, negative 0.5, I'm not going to increase it. Mm, let's do negative 0.3, maybe. Uh, I want a zero, just so it's easier to read. Oh, I don't need a negative, though. I lied. Just 0.3, because we already have a negative sign. Now, what this should do in our draw function, in our draw loop, each time it runs through, it's going to blink the background to blue. And again, this is 20 or 30 times a second. So it's going to blink our background to blue. It's going to say bubble.velocity y equals bubble.velocity y. So when we start, it's going to say, okay, well, the velocity equals negative 0.5. It is then going to subtract 0.3 from it. So that would be negative 0.8. And then it's going to draw a sprite. Then it loops back around. It blanks the background to hide the bubble it just drew. It decreases the velocity by 0.3. So that would now be negative 1.1. And it draws the sprite again. Then it goes back to the top and continues this. right? And it does this so many times a second. You never see a blank blue background. Let's see what, what happens now. Vroom. And the bubble's gone. So it looks like... We have done it. And there's no challenge on this one. Make it move more quickly. Awesome. So that's the code that uh, works for me. Great. Onward.